good evening. Let's talk. Let's talk about today, shall we? Started out good. It, and don't get me wrong, this is pretty much overall a pretty good day. So don't get me wrong. Thankful for my blessings. But let's just talk about today because mostly it's funny. At 3.30, Libby squeaked. So I nursed her and I had to be up at 4.45. So about the time that I dozed off, it was 4.45, time to get up. All right, so go, 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 go all day. It's Monday, it's super busy at work, we're short staffed. So really busy day. Had to go up to another camp for a meeting. So then it was rush, 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 pick up the spawn, and rush, rush, rush down to another base and buy some stuff. And then I had to run to the exchange and buy some more stuff. And then we needed bread, one item. Now, in the States, that's not a big deal. You just go get your one item, run in somewhere super quick, which I could have done, but the shop at may or may not have bread. You just don't know. And you don't want to gamble, because if you gamble and they don't have bread, you have no bread. There will be no bread to be had. So into the commissary I went. I won't say which commissary, but it's a big one. So, mind you, it is quarter, it's, it's 6.48. The commissary closes at 7. So I roll in. Mind you, I'm wearing skinny jeans, and it's been very humid today, and it was extremely busy. So I got the thigh rub, and I got a fussy baby who needs a diaper change. And like I said, I've been up since 3.30, and I've got a little bit of crud going on, a little bit of snufflies. So, I'm tired, I'm hungry. My thighs are rubbing together. My baby's kind of fussy, but she's hanging in there because she's a good little baby. Okay. So the scene is set. We're rolling in. We're getting our bread. We've got one thing. And mind you, this is about um, four phone calls exchanged between the time I go into the commissary and come out of the commissary with my husband and I because he's been so sweet and he agreed to make dinner with a recipe that has no measurements. It's all just estimation. I know what the estimations are, but he does not. So numerous phone calls from my sweet husband who took one for the team, made dinner. I get the bread and this is where all hell breaks loose. And I go into the check yourself out lane, the one with the mirrors. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The um, self-scanning lane. And of course, everyone and their brother is doing their weekly shopping, even though it's like, you know, 20 items or less. And the stupid things are so slow, it's like, beep. Please remove your item from the bagging area. It's not in the bagging area. That's a whole another video entirely. All right, so I got one item. Sometimes when you go through the actual checkout line, because there's multiple lanes open, it's not nearly as challenging to get through. Well, not in this case. There's four lanes open, and there's three people ahead of me, and they all have their weekly carts. Okay, so it's not just like a couple of items. It's, no, we're stocking up. We're shopping. It's Monday. We're getting food for the week. Like full, full carts. So I've got mom. I've got healthy enlisted man. And I've got the family. And they're all in front of me. And they all have full carts. And I just have one loaf of bread. Just look around, see who's behind you. See who's got the cranky kid with one loaf of bread. Let him go ahead of you. But no. So I wait 
which is fine. But then it's like, they're the shoppers that time forgot. And I'm sure it's just because I'm in a hurry and ready to go home. But it's like, could you please, please place your container of pepper on the thing like more delicately? You don't want it to crush. You don't want your pepper to crush. All right then, move it along. So then the real kicker comes in. So, crying baby. So family of three rolls up and they're like, I don't know what they're doing. They're just hanging out, having a chat, family game night or whatever. I don't know what they're doing, but literally it was like they were going backwards, putting their items on the conveyor belt. Enlisted man, he's moving at a pretty good clip. Like, acceptable. Like, he's got the hustle. He's going. I don't know. Mom's enjoying her vacation away from her children because she's taking her sweet dear time. Okay? But enlisted man, um, he's right in the middle. I'm like, all right, you are my ticket. I'm in this line next. So finally, all of his items are on the conveyor belt. That's what I was looking for earlier. All of his items are on there. And he's going. And it's good. And I roll up and I'm ready to throw my one item up on that conveyor belt. And Brosif, who's checking people out, says, sorry ma'am. Uh, and he points to his little number eight, light up number eight aisle and it says, I'm closed. And I kind of hold up my bread like, you serious? Like, you can't just ring up my one loaf of bread? He's like, I got a bunch of stuff I gotta do. I'm like, so do I! But I'm like, all right, who am I to tell you how to do your job? You might have a bunch of stuff to do. Okay. So Brosif goes along his way and I wait. And if you're curious, it's mom that gets done first, not the family that time forgot. So, just about that time, Libby starts to fuss. And I'm like, of all the times that you could scream in the top of your bloody lungs that would be useful, this would be it, babe. Like, if you could just scream bloody murder like you do when it's time to eat, instead of the little fussy, little, little fussy, no, no, I want you to scream. That'll get the line moving. Absolutely. So long story short, this already, this video is way too long. But long story short, I get through the line. I don't even need a bag. I'm like, let's go. Libby's got the bread. And we're rolling out. And I try to go out the doors, which I'm parked on this side, on the right side a lot. And who should be at the door locking it up? But Brosif, sorry, these doors are locked. Are they? Are they now? Do you think that maybe it might be safer and more efficient if we waited to lock the doors until the majority of the guests were out of the building, perhaps? Or do you think it's better to just funnel them all out like a herd of turtles? Thank you. He smelled like cigarettes. I was, I was quite perturbed. I was quite perturbed at, at Brosif. So I roll out and I go out the far entrance, furthest away from the one that's near my car. And I walk across the parking lot and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this cart in the parking lot to spite you, Brosif. Even though you won't be the one to come get it, it'll be a hardworking elderly Okinawan that will have to get this cart, but I just, I, my soul just can't, and you spited me. Spite, spited me? Spite me? Spite me? Anyway, so I left the cart there. It was really close to the building, so they were able to get it. Like, nine times out of ten, I'm taking it up, and I'm putting it in a little corral, I swear. But this time I didn't. So I get the stuff in the car, get the baby loaded up, and what happens? The wind blows the cart into my car and all the way down it. <laughs> Much like Russell in Up when he's going across 
the windshield of the dirigible. And now I'm on my way home. And I'm still not home. But you know who is probably home? Brosif!